Yo, what's going on YouTube? Chris Wrestling Views back here again with a video. Um, you see the title, WrestleMania um, Prediction Video, you guys. This is going to be a good one. Um, also, make sure you guys check out uh, Wrestling Pit Podcast here on YouTube.com as well, where I will be on there, um, you know, with some other friends and all. And uh, it's definitely going to be pretty cool. So right after this video, be sure to check out that video next. Um, so, yeah. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, jump into it. So we'll go with the first match. I want to go with uh, EO Sky versus Bailey. Now, EO Sky, of course, you guys, um, you know, was a tremendous wrestler over in NXT, but now she came to the main roster. She's kind of shaky, you know, she's kind of a little bit of, sh you know, kind of shaky a little bit. Been holding the title, haven't been defending it, which is another issue with me with EO Sky because they didn't have nobody else at the time to give it to, but to give it to EO Sky. Um, and then now Bailey, she's back as a face superstar, of course. Now in this match right here, um, I feel like Bailey will win. Um, she may have like an assist or something like that uh, that you know will cause her to win, or she'll just end up you know defeating Eo Sky because I feel like Eo Sky will be you know is definitely a worthy champion, but not in NXT. So. Um, so yeah, I got Bailey winning in that match uh, for that WWE Women's Championship on SmackDown. All right, then again, you guys will go with LA Knight versus AJ Styles. We've seen the back and forth, um, you know, at AJ Styles' house with LA Knight and everything, and we've seen uh, him on Friday Night SmackDown this past week, where LA Knight was well, no, yeah, he was uh, near the commentary table. And pretty much, uh, he was, you know, just, you know, pretty much like disguised as something. Um, and I was like, wow. And then they start fighting and brawling. But if I had to pick a winner of this match, uh, I'm going to have to go with, um, it's a rough decision. I can't, really can't go against my boy AJ Styles because this man is jacked, like jacked up. I'm talking, I ain't never seen AJ Styles this jacked up in my life. Uh, like I remember watching, like I remember watching AJ Styles when he was back in TNA and you know that was a pretty pretty incredible moment there, uh, but if I had to choose a winner of this match, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to lean toward L.A. Knight uh, through you know with this match here, um, you know maybe he'll face uh, the winner of whoever maybe face Logan Paul or something like that for the United States title and end up and end up winning it. Now uh, now uh, then now then again you guys now we're look now we're looking at the next match. Um, which is Gunther versus Sami Zayn for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. Now, in this match right here, you guys, we got Sami, you know, so I don't know if you guys actually knew, but Sami Zayn uh, actually defeated Gunther um, back in, it was another, it was another wrestling promotion. Um, I can't remember what it was called, but if you look up Walter versus uh, El Generico, which was Sami Zayn, you will actually see that match there where, it was I can't remember what title it was or anything like that, but uh, but yeah, look up uh, Walter versus El Generico. Um, it was for some kind of t some it was it was for some kind it was for some kind of title. But then again, you guys. Um, but then again, you guys. With this being said, right here, it's hard to say. But you know, Gunther is my guy. Uh, but I'm gonna have to say winner. And still intercontinental champion Gunther. Um, it's kind of hard to see if Sami Zayn is going to win it. But then again. I would want. I would want to. I would want to go. I would want to go Sami Zayn. And the reason why I say. I'm, I'm going to change that real quick you guys. The reason why I say Sami Zayn. Is because Sami Zayn. I mean. <clears throat> you know he's been. You know he's been back and forth. With the bloodline. Been in the bloodline. And stuff like that. Now we wanted Chad Gable to actually win this match, but uh, Chad Gable didn't get that chance, and he was pinned. But at the same time, a lot of people were saying that um, that uh, Chad Gable's shoulders were up. Now we could see another match, you guys, uh, with Sami Zayn uh, versus Chad Gable in a one-on-one. -on -one. Now that match right there would be an incredible match to actually, uh, you know, put definitely put money into. Um, and you know to take a seat and actually get glued to the screen 
Uh, but yeah, like I said, um, like I said, I feel like Sami Zayn will pick up this title and then once again face um, Chad Gable one on one this time, and then see Gilther may chase after uh, the world heavy, you know, whoever's world heavyweight champion with. <clears throat> when they walk out now with that being said you guys let's go to Rhea Ripley versus Becky Lynch Rhea Ripley versus Becky Lynch for the Women's World Championship it's gonna be it's gonna be very interesting we already know that Becky Lynch's contract expires in June um they're not sure if she's gonna resign or not but I'm hoping and feeling like that she will um but if I had to pick a winner of this match I'm gonna have to say uh Rhea Ripley um, may just retain her um, her uh, whole women's world championship. Right. Now, now let's go with um, let's go with Logan Paul versus Randy Orton versus Kevin Owens for the United States Championship. Now, this match right here, we know we can see like really see that Randy Orton and um, Logan Paul is like really playing around and everything. And uh, you know, just like when on SmackDown this past Friday, he looked under the thing. Logan Paul just looked at him and was like, no, he didn't try to, like, run nowhere or anything. And, you know, they just, Logan Paul just took off in his car and just left. So, <clears throat> with that being said, you guys, if I had to pick a winner in this match, I'm going to say, I'm going to have to say that Logan Paul will retain uh, this title. He's going to some kind of way sneak Randy Orton or some kind of way sneak Kevin Owens like he's been, like he did in, in the Elimination Chamber with Randy Orton and just like he did with uh, Kevin Owens um, on previous occasions. But I know Kevin Owens and Logan Paul definitely aren't uh, finished with each other. But, um, you know, a lot of people are saying that Logan Paul and, uh, not Logan Paul, excuse me, Randy Orton and Kevin Owens look like they can be a tag team. But at the same time, you guys, I'm not sure about that uh, 100%. Uh, a lot of people don't want to actually see that. And we heard Kevin Owens actually mention, he said, you know what, uh, my tag team partner. Maybe Logan Paul win this match. They insert Randy Orton and Kevin Owens into the uh, into the, uh, tag team, the tag team title tournament because news report from David Menzler said they had some kind of meeting where they want to remove Austin Theory and uh, Grayson Waller out of this uh, championship match. Not knowing the reason why, but it hasn't been fully confirmed, but they're having some kind of meeting about removing those two. So if they remove those two, I can definitely see Randy Orton and Kevin Owens being, um, you know, in you know in that tag team title hunt uh, for those titles. Um, and that's going to bring me to my next uh, match. Speaking of the tag team titles, so we're going to go with Finn Balor and Damian Priest versus Johnny Gargano, Tommaso Ciampa, versus The Miz on R-Truth, versus Kofi Kingston at Xavier Woods, versus Austin Theory and Grayson Waller, versus Pete Dunne and Tyler Bate for the undisputed WWE Tag Team Championships. Now, what could happen is one of the teams can pull down the red belts, other team pulls down the, uh, the blue belts, and then they end up like, hold on, what's going on? And then... Someone pulls down the other red belt, and then somebody pulls down the blue belt, and that's the way they probably could. They're more likely will be splitting the uh, tag titles here. So I think that's gonna be a that's gonna be a way you know to actually split the titles, uh, which I am glad about because I'm not. I was a big fan of it when the Usos had the undisputed tag team titles, and especially how they main evented WrestleMania last year and main main event. Well, not main evented it this year but being a part of the card which is the most important part um but yeah if i had to choose a team to actually win this match here i will have to honestly guys i do want to see tyler bate and pete dunn uh actually um win the tag titles but depending on what way wwe does it like the way i said it which somebody pulled down one like the red belt somebody pulled down the blue belt Maybe something like that. Then again, um, we're definitely going to have to see. But if I had to just pick one team out of this match, I will have to say um, I would have to say Pete Dunne and Tyler Bate. Next match, you guys, uh, we're going to go with... Uh, hold on, y'all. Hold on. We're going to go with Jay Uso versus Jimmy Uso. Brother versus brother. Doesn't have any kind of stipulation behind this match or anything like that. But... Um, I feel like I feel like their dad will be out there at ringside. A lot of people were laughing because they said 
um, if he's trying to be like a special guest referee. And that brings me where um, one of the journalist ladies asked him in a video that I watched. Um, and I know you guys more likely probably seen that as well. They asked Rikishi, is it true that you'll be refereeing your son, Jimmy and Jay Uso's uh, match at WrestleMania? And he said, he said, hold on, hold on. He said, check out my off the top, off, off the top, um, off the top podcast, that, you know, off the top podcast uh, thing. Well, no, I think it's like off the top with Rikishi or something like that. Uh, but yeah, you guys, you probably, you guys probably seen it before, but he said, um, check it out there and I'll give you my answer. So I haven't checked it out lately, you guys, uh, ever since, um, you know, they asked him that question, but yeah. Now, you guys, let's go with, um, let's go with, uh, Bianca Belair, Jay Cargill, and, oh, hold on, I'm sorry, you guys, if I had to pick a winner this match, it's gonna be Jay Uso. Now, uh, now let's go to the next match, Bianca Belair, uh, Jay Cargill, and Naomi versus, um, Dakota Kai, Asuka, and Kyrie Sane. Now, you guys, these, um, are some incredible talents in this match right here. You got Bianca Belair, the EST of WWE. We got Jay Cargill just just made her debut. Uh, we've seen her short matches she had in AEW, but I'm wanting to see actually more from Jay Cargill, and she's like a glamazon type uh, person. Um, I would say you guys, because that in the entrance she had where she went like this, and you just seen like a blue light, and it was just it was just wild on SmackDown. Uh, check it out if you guys have it. And of course, Naomi. Now, Naomi, she shouldn't be looking like a job or anything, you guys. Uh, she went to TNA, was the TNA uh, Women's uh, World Champ, well, Knockouts Champion. And then you got uh, Dakota Kai, she's pretty good. Oscar, she's definitely good. And, <coughs> excuse me, you guys. Kyrie Sane, she's definitely good as well. Allergies is going around, you guys know about it. So, yeah. Pollen's out here and it's been out here for like a month now, so can't wait to go away. Uh, but long story short, you guys, uh, in this match right here, I can see uh, Bianca Belair, Jay Cargill, and Naomi winning. Now, I can see Jay Cargill more than likely. Um, Jay, Kill, Jay Cargill more than likely uh, could pin uh, Asuka in this match um because Oscar, you know Oscar is a former women's champion plus she's a tag team champion and if that happens more than likely Naomi and Jay Cargill or Bian well I want to actually see Bianca Belair and Jay Cargill if they do um you know decide to become a official team like the EST Storm or something or something crazy like that and um you know just end up you know becoming a team or, you know, maybe some kind of way they can insert Naomi into the group as well. But, uh, you know, then again, we'll see. Now, goes back to EO Sky. If EO Sky retains, who, which one of these three women will go after EO Sky if she does retain? Now, if I had to pick somebody, you guys, I would have to pick Bianca Belair uh, to actually, you know, go, um, you know, back with this. Now... Um, but yeah, I have um, Bianca Belair uh, team uh, winning. Now let's go. Now let's go right here, you guys. Uh, we're gonna go with. Um, we're gonna go uh, next with uh, Seth Rollins versus Drew McIntyre. Now I feel like Drew will win this match sim simply because, you know, this is something that Drew needs. This is something that he's been de desiring to have. At you know, as he say, and this is something. Um, where Seth Rollins need to definitely take some time away from WWE TV because Seth Rollins he hasn't been where he needs to be. You know, he his, he, his health is not there. You know, he hurt his arm, hurt his leg, hurt definitely hurt his back. And you know, your back is nothing to play with. Shoot, ask Randy Orton. Uh, but uh, that can keep you out of action for a good year or two. Um, I would have to say the least. But depending on how severe the damage could be. Seth Rollins definitely has to uh, drop this uh, championship. Now, if Drew McIntyre does win this championship, what if we get Damian Priest actually to come out, cashes in, but at the same time, the match, you know, the match, of course, comes as a triple threat match. 
then if the max comes to triple threat max, we can get to where um, fit, you know, fit, you know, we can get to where Finn Balor and they uh, and maybe Dominic or somebody pulls it, you know, pull Damian Priest's leg for the pin, and end up, you know, end up, uh, you know, and Drew McIntyre ends up, um, you know, retaining the title of some sort, but. Uh, it just depends on how all this is gonna happen, you guys, because they're gonna play this. Th they're gonna play WrestleMania 40 out pretty good, and it's gonna be amazing in everything, you guys. So I'm ready to see all of these matches on this card. Now, let's get to the main event of Night One: Rock and Roman Reigns versus Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins. Now, this match right here, I can actually more than likely see uh, Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins winning with Cody Rhodes getting the pin over The Rock. And now this right here would actually like, you know, actually like spice it up, you know, spice it up as well, um, you know, leading into, you know, leading into WrestleMania. Uh, now with that also being said, you guys, um, um, so yeah, I got Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins winning uh, main event on night one. Now, uh, let's get to the big match. Before we get to it, though, I want to talk about where I want to talk about where The Rock is pretty much overshadowing Roman Reigns. Like, like Paul Heyman, like Paul Heyman said on SmackDown, which sound kind of stupid to me, saying that the that Roman Reigns ordered The Rock to take out Cody. You cannot order The Rock to do anything. The Rock is above, like, The Rock is above him. He's above, like, everybody. Like, Nah, you you just can't you just Paul Heyman like you can't say that the uh that the that Rum Reigns ordered the Rock uh to do that, which Rock does it by himself. I mean, Rock is you know this man is close to a billionaire and it's just crazy. I I wouldn't think nothing like like that to actually uh to be said. But Cody Rhodes versus Rum Reigns might have some interferences is. Uh, you know, in this match, referee may get knocked out. Of course, you know he definitely gonna get knocked out. We've seen these two fight last year at WrestleMania, but will Cody finish the story? It's hard to say. Um, if I had to just make a prediction over this match, I would say winner and still uh, WWE Universal Champion Roman Reigns. But at the same time, Cody Rhodes could just uh, could just have some help. From maybe Stone Cold, maybe John Cena, uh, maybe MJF could, you know, uh, you know, we already know he's with AEW, but he's not on their, act their active roster page, but he can actually come out. Somebody could come out and help Cody, like I said, um, but I wouldn't know this match. I'm going to have to stick with Roman for, you know, for this part of it, but, you know, stuff may just change, but we'll see. Other than that, you guys, that is my WrestleMania predictions. I uh, will be doing my uh, WWE uh, NXT uh, stand and deliver right after this video. So make sure you check that out as well, you guys. Appreciate all the love and support. And uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel right now, you guys. It's free to do. You don't have to pay $1.99 or nothing like that. Just click subscribe, like the video, and that's it. You can give it a comment if you want to, but all I ask is subscribe and like. Those two things, simple and easy. Appreciate you guys, but um, soon enough, you guys are about to jump on here to um, Wrestling Pit Podcast uh, YouTube channel. I'll put the YouTube channel name um, down in the uh, description so you can uh, check us out and give us a uh, subscribe on that. Thank you, guys. And, y'all, I can't wait to uh, WrestleMania. We've got the official locked in card. I didn't want to do it, you know, without... Oh, you guys, I'm actually forgetting a match. I'm actually forgetting a match. Uh, Dominic and Rey Mysterio. Um, yeah, Dominic and Rey Mysterio. Not Dominic and Rey Mysterio, excuse me. Dang, who is it? Uh, Dominic and um, and Santos Escobar versus, uh, Dom versus Dominic. And um, what's that? What's that guy's name? Uh, Dominic and um, Dragon Lee. Uh, now that match right there, you guys, I'm definitely gonna have to say Rey Mysterio and um, and Dragon Lee will pick up this victory. But that is it, you guys. Like, comment, subscribe to Chris Wrestling Views here on YouTube.com. I'll see you guys in my next video. Make sure you check out shorts. If I'm not doing regular videos, make sure you check out shorts. I just try to put a little comedy stuff up there, you guys, to you know just keep you guys entertained, laugh, uh, and all that good stuff. See you guys. Hey.